Hello one, hello all. I don't know why I'm greeting you so spookily. I mean, it's November now. It's not like it's Halloween anymore. But sometimes I like to be spooky. Also, sometimes I like to pretend that I'm talking in the voice of the cartoon animated Dracula, which has been replicated a thousand times over. So you get to deal with me doing that. Being spooky. Now today, I actually am not coming to you with anything spooky. As a matter of fact, opposite. I'm coming to talk to you about a really cool tree because trees are awesome. Nature is awesome. Go hug a tree today. But what I wanted to talk to you about was the sequoia. Are you familiar with our friend, the sequoia? The sequoia is an amazing tree in the redwood family, but not the redwoods because those are slightly different trees. But the sequoia is what I like to call a phoenix tree. Now what makes it a phoenix tree? I'ma tell you. The fact that this tree thrives off of fire, as in there are controlled fires, controlled fires, <sighs> controlled fires that happen over in California. Controlled fires. Okay, <laughs> a moment of silence for all of the wildfires that are plaguing California right now. So as I was saying, there are controlled fires that take place in the woods that are very important. Now, it turns out that if you do not do these controlled fires, that you end up with lots of stuff for wildfires to take and run with, which is why these controlled fires are so important. But there are other reasons for the importance of these controlled fires, such as the giant sequoia, a magnificent tree found over in California and truly a staggering height of, I don't know, I didn't come prepared with a number for you, but they're massive. So for my 30th birthday last year, I told my friend, I want to go see some redwoods. And she was like, they're kind of far from me. How about we go see the sequoia instead? So I was like, let's do it. We hopped in a car. We did some driving. She's over in LA now. Hey, buddy, miss you. Hope you're doing well. Sending you love. Anyway, so we went to the Sequoia National Park or Sequoia National Canyon, Sequoia Kings Canyon. I should look all these things up. Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks. That's what I was trying to say before. Woo! Check it out sometime. Anyway, we got there, and the one thing that you're going to notice right away about the Sequoia, besides the fact that they're massive, because I'll tell you this, we were driving around, we were driving up the mountain. This is also us driving up the mountain. And we're like, so where are these giant trees? I was told there are going to be giant trees. I don't see any of these giant trees. What, is it going to just jump out at me? And then <laughs> a few more turns around the mountain, and yeah, they do just jump out at you. They're like, I'm a giant tree. They were just higher in the mountain than you were. So the sequoia is like a phoenix tree, and I will tell you why. Because it thrives off of fire. These controlled fires are super important to the sequoia, who has a very spongy bark. As in, you hug it, which yes, I did. You hug it, and it's soft, and it's kind of spongy and fibrous. This means fibrous. And the wood itself is even kind of pink. It's beautiful. Now, the reason that the bark is so spongy is because these controlled fires go through the forest and they clean up any type of dead wood heh, and uh, wild brush that would be in the way and they leave a pristine path behind. Now, this is super important because the heat from the fire causes the pine cones in the sequoia to pop open and drop the seeds. So now the seeds drop directly onto this freshly pristine forest floor. So they have no competition for any type of growth. They have optimal sunlight. And this is the life cycle of the sequoia, which is beautiful and amazing. And as if that was not beautiful enough, which let's face it, I mean, do you need more reasons to love a tree? Well, if you do, there's also this. As the tree grows bigger and taller, this is me growing bigger and taller as a tree, they have these incredible openings. They look like vaginas. Incredible openings. I hear what this all sounds like. 
incredible openings and you can walk within the tree you can stand within the tree i was sitting within my, my friend and i were having a ball we were just frolicking we were looking around like yeah i think i think i could make a summer home here having little meditations throughout the tree so be sure to check out the sequoia look it up today and bring it some love because everyone needs a little love love for me to you guys i'll see you next time bye